Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. I am Bridge Bhushan Misra, Microsoft MVP. In this video, we'll give a quick look on one of the most used type string in C sharp. We'll see various ways of validating a string before using. Say we want some proper string value after validation. It could be a string variable or a property of a class of type string or a controls text property in any UI based application. Here we could have four possible values. Here first variable value is null. Second value 1 is empty string. Third value 2 contains only white spaces. Fourth value 3 is correct value. This should only pass the validation. Some developers use the following way. But this has a problem because it passes if string has empty value. So here value 1 will pass but it should not be. Some developers add two checks, one for null and another for empty string. This adds one additional check for empty string but pass if string contains void spaces. So here value 2 will pass. Some developers also use is null or empty static method of type string. This is same as earlier one and have the same problem. .NET 4 introduces one more static method to type string is null or void space that serves most of the purpose. As name suggests, it checks whether the string is null or empty or contains only void spaces. This is very common scenario if accepting user inputs. Here only value 3 will pass and rest value, value 1, value 2 will fail which is correct. So use the new method and this is more elegant and readable way to check the string. This is quick and easy way to validate a string variable. Thank you for taking your time to watch this video.